My name is David Hawley, and I uh, am one of the public address announcers for the University of Akron sports teams. I've been announcing for Akron for six seasons. Uh, been announcing, been a public address announcer for 18. For Akron, I announce uh, women's soccer. I'm secondary announcer for men's soccer. I do uh, track and field, indoor and outdoor. I do uh, swimming and diving. My best memory from announcing for, the, for Akron, I think, uh, I was able to do two uh, MAC uh, men's soccer championships. It was great to be the announcer there. I really like being around the young people. I like being around uh, the student athletes. Uh, both my son and daughter played soccer for Stowe High School. Uh, athletic director was looking for someone to uh, be a public address announcer and just kind of set up in the stands, does anybody want to do it? And I thought I'd take a shot at it, and that got me into it. Probably the best tip is to uh, to know that you're not a play-by-play -play announcer. You're just a public address announcer, and the idea is just to try and, and be impartial as you can and, and just give the information that's needed. Don't talk too much. As my worst memory, I did a volleyball match in my first season here at, at Akron, and I was not used to following that script and the use of video boards, and I botched it very badly. And I haven't been asked back to do any volleyball matches since, so. <laughs> and soccer fans, and welcome to First Energy Stadium in Cub Cadet Field on the campus of the University of Akron for tonight's Mid-American Conference Soccer Match between the Golden Flash from Kent State University and your University of Akron Six. The Akron Zips women's soccer team started MAC play against the Kent State Golden Flashes. The two teams would go back and forth at the start with Akron's Sarah Civic launching a shot from distance and then Akron goalkeeper Lucas Hegeman would get a stop. Akron would strike first, however, as Karen Norman would put a shot in the bottom corner after a cross from Abby Gindelsberger. Kent State would answer back in the first half, however, and the two teams would both have chances to take the lead, with Akron barely clearing a Kent State chance and an Akron shot going just wide right. The teams would go into the break with a 1-1 score. In the second half, Kent State would get a nice ball in, and after a wild scramble in front of the net, the ball would land right at the feet of Donnie Capehart, who promptly gave the Golden Flashes the lead. Kent State would get an insurance goal as Capehart got her second after a corner kick and an unlucky bounce off an Akron defender. That's the end of tonight's match with the final score. The Kent State Golden Flashes 3 and York Akron Zips 1.